to our Israelite brothers and sisters, those that are near and far off, like to say good Christian brothers, like to say good morning to our Islamic brothers, like to say good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is indeed a great day to be alive. Before we start this video up, to my Israelite brothers, this is going to be a good Sabbath class, Sabbath message. And, uh, but before I want to, before I start this video up, I got a couple of things I want to say. I want to say if, uh, if anybody have ever have been rubbed the wrong way with some of these videos that we have done, even though the videos are not personal, sometimes people can still get rubbed the wrong way. So I ask you to charge it to my head and not my heart. Uh, if I have by chance come across as though I was arrogant or prideful while using the scripture, I ask that you'll charge it to my head and not my heart. If I ever came across as one that thinks or gives the appearance that he knows everything, I ask that you would charge it to my head and not my heart. Because it's my, not my intention to rule people the wrong way, but these scripts don't belong to me. And so that's going to happen from time to time. The word of God will challenge you, challenge you to the umph degree. And many times since we can't slap the face of the Most High, we slap the face of the one that uh, he is, that's carrying his word. And uh, it is not my intention to come across as a prideful, as an arrogant man. Because I don't have anything of my own that I'm using. You see? And I know that I'm not prideful or arrogant because I wake up every day with a dependency on the Most High. There are things in my life that I don't have the power to fix in my own strength. And so anytime we approach the Father, we have to approach Him in a spirit of humility. You see? So, and if I have been one to come across like I know everything, charge it to my head and not my heart because I don't know everything. I'm in the process of learning, in the process of growing, just like many other people. But uh, some of you are yet to learn as you continue to walk, that when you really start using the scripture with a genuine mind, a genuine heart, and a pure motive, and a pure conscience, you will find that there is a point to where that spirit just say, okay, you open it up and you done, you done what you was going to do. Now let me get the people what they need to hear. I know how to deal with them. And so sometimes those are the things that's happening while we're making these videos. Today I want to I want to I want to look at I want to take a look at one of the most misunderstood passages of scripture in the Bible. And it is what people say it is the first commandment. Uh, it is the first commandment that had a reward attached to it. And we're gonna show you we're going to try to bring some fullness. Mind you, we have a mindset over here. Though we all come up through the ranks of the Christian church, you understand what I'm saying? Some of us refuse to have our growth and our understanding stagnated by being confined to a mediocre 66 books that the heathens that have stolen our scrolls compiled and put them together for the sake of preserving their own culture why they kept their foot on the father's people's neck through ignorance. So we're not going out like that. We're going to do what Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 say. That is to precept upon precept, line upon line, and we're going here a little, and we're going there a little. And today we will be coupling the KJV 66 with the Essene gospel of peace to bring about some fullness to this particular passage of scripture that we're talking about. That is not fully understood. So, so, let me get that phone set up right there. Let me see if I can get that phone set up right there to where we can, where we can uh, see how I can get it in there. I ain't as technical savvy as everybody else, so my videos be raggedy, but that's okay. They be raggedy, but as long as the spirit's in there, they're going to be powerful. 
I know the Most High going to do something great for somebody. He's going to do something great for somebody. I'd like to say good afternoon to all the brothers and sisters in social media land. I truly hope that brothers and sisters have been learning as we've been walking through the scriptures. That's what it's for. Let's jump right into this. Well, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to have a word of prayer. Most High Heavenly Father, I ask that you'll let your spirit, your Ruach HaKadosh, be the guider of this word. It is contained in your promises that you would be the teacher, you would be one that would lead, you would guide us to your word and to all of the places uh, that you, the things that you want your people to hear. We ask that you'll bless the ears of every person that is hearing this video, that they may walk away. If they don't walk away but with one good thing out of this video, that they'll walk away with something and come, up, come off a little bit better off. We ask these blessings in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Hallelujah. Okay, this scripture, this, this most misunderstood piece of scripture is going to be coming out of Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. And this is what it reads. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God had given thee. Now, that is the first. That's the first commandment. That's the first commandment given that has an attached promise to it, an attached reward to it, and that's to honor your father and your mother. But you know what? When you start looking at the scripture, let me ask you a question. How can you honor somebody that's purely wicked? How can you honor your father and mother if they're running around shooting people? How can you honor your father and mother if they are beating the children that they were supposed to be responsible for? How can you honor the father and the mother that mocks God and that's a scoffer? How do you honor the father and the mother in that way? That's what we're going to look at. That's why I said it's a misunderstood passage of scripture. Now, Mind you, brothers and sisters, this not only just where we make videos, but this is also a dialoguing uh, video uh, channel that people can chime in. They can toss their questions. They can toss their perspective about whatever. So let me see by show by show uh, by way of the number seven. Everybody that think that this passage of scripture honor thy father and thy mother that your days may be long upon the earth if you think that that's talking about honoring your parents that's on the earth right now with you put a seven up there if you always thought that honoring your father and your mother meant that you honoring your mother and your father that brought you into this life if you if you always been taught that that's what it means put a seven up in there i want to see where people's mindset is Yep, so let's go. Let's go here. Let's go here. So let's pull up another. Okay, so I got my brothers and sisters. They've always thought that to honor their father and their mother so that their days could be long on the earth was what the scripture was talking about. Let me show you why that's one of the most misunderstood passages of scripture on the planet. What I really need to do, what I really would like to see is I would really like to see some of our local preachers, our local pastors, our, our mores, our coheens. I would like to see some of our studied brothers start coming along some of these videos as well with their perspective. So we're going to show you why it's a misunderstood passage of scripture. Watch this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Watch this. Now, Exodus 20 said, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days on the earth may be long. I'm going to show you how misunderstood of a passage of scripture is as we go here a little and there a little. Now, let's go to Luke 14th chapter, we're going to read from the 26th verse. 
if any man comes to me and hate not his father and his mother and his wife and his children and his brother and his sister, yeah, his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Disciple. So you got the word hate in there as it relates to the same mother and father that he just told you that you were supposed to honor. Now I understand, so what we're going to look at is that basically what it's saying is that nobody, not even a mother or a father, should come between us uh, trying to walk and be obedient to the word of the Most High. And that's pretty much what the passage of Scripture is talking about. But most of the, in most of the cases, we have been brought up to believe that honoring your father and mother was was boiled all the way down to how you treat the physical parents that brought you into this life. So this particular passage of Scripture, the Messiah is telling you, I know that I told you to honor your father and mother. And I know that according to your mindset, you don't fully understand what I was talking about. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If you get ready to come to me, you must hate your mother and your father. You see, there are two mothers and fathers in the scripture that the Messiah is talking about. You have one set, a mother and a father, that is the physical vehicle to which you arrived here. Then you have another mother and father, and that's what we're going to get in. Because to honor your earthly mother and father does not ensure that you're going to have a long life. You know why? Because you have many earthly mothers and fathers that are wicked. Many earthly mothers have put their children up for adoption. Many mothers and fathers have sold their children into prostitution behind drug habits and things like that. Many mothers and fathers have cast their children off of their own selfishness only to end up spending uh of their lives locked up behind bars or something of that nature. Many times those earthly parents that you think God meant for you to honor, how you going to honor? How you going to honor somebody that ain't never paid a dime of child support, ain't never helped you, ain't never came to show up at your sick bed, ain't never came to a school event, ain't never took you to little league football or basketball practice, ain't never did anything for you. How you going to honor that father or that mother? You see? So if that be the case, then that has to be something deeper than what we're dealing with. So we're going to pull up another scripture. Just so before we go into it, we're going to pull up another scripture because as we started out, we started out by telling you that honor your father and your mother that your days may be long is one of the most misunderstood passages of scripture on uh, that we have ever heard before. And why? You can honor your father and your mother and still die young. Well, if that's the case, that make God a liar. Do you know how many children have had respect and honor for their mother and their father only to take ill and die early? Do you know how many children that have respect for their mother and their father have went to school, went to college, done right by them, done everything they told only to get hit by a stray bullet and die early? Do you understand how many uh, children have had respect and honor for their mother and father? Many of them have had so much honor that they even took and they still messed around and didn't live a long life. So either there's something more to these scriptures or the Most High is a liar. So let's go to another one. Let me show you, because what we're doing, we're establishing the fact right here that the passage of scripture don't mean what you think it means. Let's see. Hosea chapter 4. Let's go look at this one here. Let's go look at this one here. Hosea chapter 4. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye children of Israel. Children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no, no mercy, or no knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall anguish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. And yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove one another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Therefore thou shalt fall 
in that day. And the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. If my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest unto me. Seeing thou hast forgot thy, the law of thy God, I also will forget their children. You see? You can honor your father and mother while they live in a life of wickedness and die without ever seeing that promise come to pass simply because you're on the wrong side of the honor. So if the Bible really meant honor your father and mother, that thing right there would be completely unconditional. That means that you would receive a blessing if your father and your mother was wicked and you honored them like the, like the Bible say, then you would receive the promise of a long, healthy life. But here. It tells you how you going to honor somebody that's wicked. How you going to honor somebody that rejected the knowledge of the Most High. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. All praises to the Most High Heavenly Father. But like we said, how do you honor your father and your mother? He said that your days may be long. It cannot mean that because here in Hosea, he talking to the children of Israel and he telling them the things that transpired with the generation that walked before him, namely their fathers and their mother. He said, my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. What One of the areas that we lack in knowledge in is that we don't understand this passage of scripture, honor thy father and thy mother. He said, because the knowledge have been made available, but because your father and your mother reject the knowledge. You'd be surprised at how many fathers and mothers that we got right now that's going to work every day to provide a good house and a good living, but they reject the one that gave them breath to breathe in the morning. They reject the one that's responsible for the job. They reject the one that's responsible for the car. He said, the knowledge of me been made available, but they reject it. And they were meant to be a priest to me. And, and so, that, so that these blessings could funnel down to their children. He said, but because they rejected me, there won't be no priest to me. He said, and because they forgot my law. That means that when you reject the word of God, you never get the law of God that you're supposed to have. That law of God is the instruction of the Most High that leads us into right decision making, which produces a good life for us. But he said, because they have rejected knowledge, I'm going to reject your children. You ever wonder why so many children are dying now? Even though they can have the utmost honor and respect for their parents, they go out into the streets and they die slain in the streets, left laying in the streets like bones scattered through a Kentucky Fried Chicken parking lot. Our people are dying out there, even though they're honoring their father and their mother. And it looks like that the word of God is not true, but it's not the word of God. It's the understanding of our thinking that have been taught. We've been taught the wrong things. So, so he's saying right here, because your mother and father reject my knowledge, I'm going to reject them. And there ain't going to be no priest. You ain't, they, your mother and father can't be no priest. They can't tell you nothing about what God said. If they themselves reject the word of God and you caught in the middle because you misunderstand the scripture and you're trying to honor somebody th that's rejecting God's word simply because you've seen it in the Bible. And you want to have the promise of a long life. So you go on and honor your mother and your father. You don't deal with them. You, you, you honor them while they in wickedness. But the scripture says this. He said, because thou have rejected my word and forgot my law, I will forget your children. You see, just the same way that it was a blessing for the children that honored their parents, guess what? It was a blessing for the parents that honored the Most High. That was protection over their children. Watch, let me show you what I'm talking about. Watch, let me show you. It's a two-headed two coin. But we're going to show you how to get around this. Because the Most High ain't going to let nobody be without excuse. Watch this. Oh, I thank the Most High. I thank the... Uh -huh. I thank the Most High. Because the Most High Spirit 
pulls things out that you never thought about and then sends you to the right place to make it plain and clear. This ain't on me. I still don't have no notes. Still don't have no pen. This is all the work of the Spirit that just put this thought in my head to teach people how you're going to honor your father and your mother so that these days are going to be long on the earth. It's twofold. He told the children, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on the earth. And then he told the parents, you understand what I'm saying? Now, you got to honor me. If you honor me, then your children. So now we moving into what he really meant. But you got to back up to your parents and who their responsibility is. Because to the parent, the most high is saying, honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long upon the earth. You see, when Adam and Eve was on the earth, they didn't have no mother and no father. But the commandment still stood. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth. Look at this here. To your parents, look at this. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. This day I call heaven and earth against you as witnesses that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Now choose life that so that you and your children may live. You see that? You see the long life of the child is going to be predicated on the parents' obedience to honor the father and the mother. You see? And see, when the, when the parents are honoring the father and the mother, then the children honor the father and the mother because it's a promised blessing that if the father and the mother are honoring the father and the mother that God tells them to honor, he said, then your children, you choose life so that you can be blessed and your seed will live. And then when that happens like that, it re it, 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 it reproduces after its own kind. And now the child honors their physical, earthly uh, parents for as long as they have them on the earth but once they're taken off the earth they see another set of parents that must be honored and that's one of those things so it's tied together so what do they mean honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth let's look at this this is coming out of the Essene gospel of peace let's bring some fullness to what he means we've already established the fact that he ain't talking about your earthly, the people that gave you birth. Because some of the people that gave you, listen, you don't know how many people, how many, how many babies being snuffed out. Don't you understand that in two weeks time period, more Israelite babies are aborted than all the people that died in the Vietnam War. Okay. So, yeah, so that's what that is. All the people, all the babies that have been, been murdered, it's more babies that have been aborted in two weeks' time than all the people that died in the Vietnam War. Now, that's a lot. What that say about those parents? Let's see. Uh, Marty, uh, do me a favor. Call half and tell him I'll call him back in about 10 minutes. We'll be headed down that way. And then, and then, many sick and maimed came to Jesus Yeshua asking him, if you know all things, tell us why do we suffer with these grievous plagues? Why are we not whole like other men? Master, heal us that we too may be strong and need abide no longer in our misery. We know that you have it in your power to heal all manner of disease. Free us from Satan and from the, all of his great affliction. Master, please have compassion on us. And Jesus answered and said, Happy are you that you hunger for the truth. For I will satisfy you with the bread of wisdom. Happy are you that you knock. For I will open the door of life. Happy are you that you would cast off the power of Satan. For I will lead you into the kingdom of our mother's angels. Where the power of Satan cannot enter. And they asked him in amazement. Who is our mother? And which are her angels? And where is her kingdom? Your mother is in you. And you are in her 
She bore you. She gives you life. It was she who gave you your body and to her you shall one day give it back. Happy are you when you come to know her and her kingdom. If you receive your mother's angels and if you do her laws, I tell you truly, he who does these things shall never see disease for the power of our mother is above all and it destroys Satan's kingdom and has rule over all your bodies and all living things. The blood which runs in us is born of the blood of our earthly mother. Her blood falls from the clouds, leaps from the wounds of the earth, babbles in the brooks of the mountains, flows wide in the rivers of the plains, sleeps in the lakes, rages mightily in the tempestuous sea. The air which we breathe is born of the breath of our earthly mother. Her breath azul in the heights of heaven, souls in the tops of the mountains, whispers in the leaves of the forest, billows over the cornfields, slumbers in the deep valleys, burns hot in the desert. The hardness of our bones, of the bones of our earthly mother, of the rocks, they are born of the rocks and of the stones. They stand naked to the heavens on the tops of the mountains are as giants that lie sleeping on the sides of the mountain as idols set in the desert and are hidden in the deepness of the earth. The tenderness of our flesh is born of the flesh of our earthly mother whose flesh waxes yellow and red in the fruits of the trees and nurtures us in the furrows of the field. Our bowels are born of the bowels of our earthly mother and are hidden from our eyes like the invisible depths of the earth. Uh, the light of our eyes and the hearing of our ears are born of the colors and the sounds of our earthly mother, which enclose us about as waves of the sea, a fish as an eddy in air, a bird. I tell you, in very truth, man is the son of the earthly mother. From her did the son of man receive his whole body, even as the body of a newborn babe is born of the womb of his mother. I tell you truly, you are one with the earthly mother. She is in you and you are in her. Of her you were born. In her do you live and her shall you return again. Keep therefore her laws, for none can live, neither be happy, but he Breath is her breath, your blood is her blood, your bone is her bone, your flesh is her flesh, your bowels are her bowels, your eyes and your ears are her eyes and ears. I tell you truly, should you fail but keep one of all of these laws, you should do harm, but one one only of all of your body's members shall be utterly lost in a grievous sickness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So when you start talking about honor thy father and thy mother, you must understand that when God spoke these things into existence, he is the heavenly father, the creator of all things. But he also gave birth into existence, the earthly mother, which out of the earth, out of the womb of the earth, man was taken out of the dust of the earth, the fish in the sea were taken out of the earth. The air that we breathe is born out of the earth. The water that cleanses us within and without is born out of the earth. The sun that burns out things and toxins out of the human body is born out of the earth. Therefore, honor thy father, the most high heavenly father, and understand that through this union, through this sacred marital union of the heavenly father, which is spirit, and the earthly mother, which is of a fleshly nature, sons and daughters were born, and anything that is born out of the earth, that's why Jesus said these animals, he cares for these animals. Animals. What are they his sister and brothers? Let me ask you a question. Anytime you got five children that come out of the same womb, what does that make them? That makes them sisters and brothers. And on the fifth day, God called the fish and the great fish and the whales and everything to come out of the womb of the earth. On day six, he caused the beast to come out of the womb of the earth. On day six, he caused the fowl to come out of the womb of the earth. The creeping things, the mosquitoes, the bees, the beetles, the grasshoppers, he caused all of them to come out of the womb of the earth. And on day six, he pre 
pulled man out of the earth and told them, honor thy father and thy mother. How you going to honor your father and your mother if you're killing your own brothers and sisters? You see, honor thy father and mother is way more deeper than you realize. Because when you start talking about honoring your father and mother, you're talking about having respect for the earth. Having respect for the grass, having respect for the bees, having respect for the wasps, having respect for the animals that's on the earth. You're talking about having respect for everything that has life, for everything that has life was born out of the womb of your earthly mother. Honor thy father and thy mother, because if you honor your father, you will honor your mother. You see? Now. It gets real, 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 real deep. But the depths, it gets so deep that I could toss a toddler in the depths of this right here. And they wouldn't drown. They could walk around in it. Oh, you think deep means all the way down to the bottom. No, 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 no. It can be so deep that the greatest scholar couldn't comprehend a simplistic message like this. And at the same time, a little child can walk around and wade in the water. What does it mean to honor thy mother and thy father? When God told Adam and Eve, honor thy mother and thy father, Adam and them knew that he came from the dust of the ground because when God brought him to it brought Eve to him, he said, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of the man. But he understand that she was taken out of him just like God took him out of the earthly mother. And that's why God put him in the garden. He said, I and the earthly mother are one. She is in me and I am in her. Till this ground. Take care of this garden. Replenish it. Subdue it. Have dominion over it. The Creeping things were taken out of the womb of the earthly mother. Have dominion over them and take care of them. The beasts and the fowls came out of the womb. These are your little brothers and sisters. Have dominion over them. Take care of them. All of these things are in dealing with honoring thy father and thy mother. Not no wicked fallen parents that are steeped in sin, honoring no wicked parents. See, you can't honor no wicked parent and get no long life because if you honor a wicked parent, then guess what? You're going to become wicked. You're going to do what they do because the only thing that they can teach you is how to go against the most high. But if you really understood what it meant to honor thy father and mother, whosoever forsaketh not earthly mother and father, houses and land, uh, children and all, he said he can't stand in my kingdom. But whosoever honor, whosoever honor the heavenly father who was spirit and the earthly mother who was physical, whosoever shall honor that they shall have long days upon the earth. And I tell you, I truly tell you, should you fail to keep but one of all of these laws, you should do, you sh should you harm but one of all your members. You shall be utterly lost in your grievous sickness. Should you fail to keep one of these laws, we're going back to the same place every single time. Your earthly mother, everything that came out of her womb would be sustained by all of those things that she will allow to grow out of her. Of all these trees and all of these fruits, you may freely eat. This shall be food and sustenance for all things that have life. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long, but should you break one of these commandments, you shall bring grievous sicknesses into your body. Because you turn into a cannibal and don't even realize it. And it's not our fault that we have been taught a sick, demented version of a, of a, missing, uh, a missing scripture. We're like been using a puzzle that half of the pieces been missing on and then those pieces that have that are missing we try to figure out in our mind what those pieces are going to be and that's how we've been living our life without understanding of what it meant to honor thy father and thy mother what's going on boy so what's up big boy Hey, yo, your brother on his way through. Your brother on his way through. What's up, what's up? Big bro? All right, what's going on? I just popped it off. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's down there putting that yard for Will. Oh, yeah. 
So he said, you know, all right, all right, all right. DJ like, all right. DJ like, it's somebody up there looking just like that. That's his problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. We out here getting this money, man. Man, that's what's up. Knock it all out. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up, man. Yeah, that's what's weekend. up. We yeah. ride by every week. I said, I thought they said, me, stay right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, they ain't doing nothing, man. Just uh, sitting down here. I'm, uh, your, your brother just called, so he's going to be coming out here in a little bit. Uh, yeah. I'm about to go down north and do a couple of estimates, okay. you know, on okay. some property. So, yeah. But what's that's happening, big bro? Not too much, man. How you been doing, man? man. You glad to be around? That's what's up. Yeah, I did. I beat the Domino's last year. Oh, I'm not going. I did. It's talking a lot of stuff. And I had a brother had to get on. Getting that scrap. I know it. Don't you know it? Know it? Ain't nothing like it, boy. By the sweat of your, by the sweat of your brow. That, that's what it's. I don't like. mind. I don't mind getting up, going nah, to work, boy. No, I don't need hey, it. Every time that sweat drops, that's an honor right yeah, there. Look, look, look. And so in a you minute, know. I'm